Hello friends, Ton here, welcome. Uh, in the previous video we worked with the backend to create a CRUD for posts and let's work now with a frontend. I'm going to add a link here to navigate the posts. So let's open the VS Code first and here inside the views let's add two components for now which is going to be inside the post directory. And I'm going to name it post index dot view, the first one. And also let's save this as a post create. Okay, so post create. Okay, let's add uh, script setup with lang ts and also a template for now. With the save, select all copy and do the same thing in the post index. Let's open the router index.ts and here we need to register them. So I'm going to copy and the path is going to be slash dashboard slash post. Also th like this we have in the backend. If I open the backend API, yeah, dashboard post, okay, dashboard post, the name is going to be post index, now you can name it what you like, the component is going to be post index, and we need to import that, so make sure you import, and uh, yeah, meta, because only the authenticated user can visit this route, now let's copy and paste also for the create so post slash create the name is going to be post create and the component post create i think we are okay here let's save let's open and let's close everything for now and let's open the app dot view I'm going to copy this and duplicate because I'm going to add the post here. So post and the name post. Save, come here. Yeah, come here and we have post. If I click, we navigate the slash post. First, I want to add a link and also to have a table with all the user posts. Okay, because this is, we are in the dashboard. For that, I have opened here the flow byte and here we have a default uh, table so I'm going to copy this and let's open VS Code inside the post index in a template first I'm going to add a div here let's add a div with a class B flex and padding of 4 and here I'm going to add a, and let's use a router link to navigate the post create and here I'm going to specify the name. And I think the name for post create is post create. And let's say create like this. And then after this div, I'm going to add a section. And in this section, inside, I'm going to pass the table. And let's see on the browser. Yeah, we have something like this. Here is the create. We can say, for example, here, where is the router link to be or flex and justify end. And now we have the create right here. When we click, we navigate the create. And let's work with this create uh, component now. I'm going to open, let's close this. Also, let's close this and open the post create. And here, let's add the uh, h2, which is going to say post create. And then let's open the login and let's copy this. I'm going to copy this and let's replace this one. So instead of login, let's say create post. Okay, we need the method which is going to say create post 
and uh, also we need to modify the form but for now let's just come here and create that method so const create post is going to be async and here we're going to receive the payload and also the node because we are working with the form kit and node is going to be type of a form kit node okay and uh, yeah we need to create also the type for the payload so i'm going to say const not const sorry type create or post create or post form which is going to be people and here we need the title and the body so let's say title is going to be a string and the body is going to be string okay and then we can say the payload is a type of uh, post for now let's import this form kit node okay i think here we are okay now let's work with this i'm going to say try and cut try we're going to use the axios instance to send the post request the slash uh let's open the back end open the api and yeah here we have dash slash dashboard slash post so let's copy this and we need to add here pass the payload if everything is success await this and then i'm going to say router dot push And we're going to push the slash dashboard slash pause. Okay, then we're going to cut the error if we have any. And let me just go in the, the login, not like this, but out login. And yeah, copy this. So, cut if we have an error. We're going to say, if the error is instance of uh, axios error and the response status is 42 set the error still like this okay i think we are good we're going to send the title and the body on the backend and let's try now i'm going to open the table class And right now we don't have any posts, as we can see. Okay, and let's let's save first this one, and let's open the backend. I'm going to open the post controller store method, and for now just let's say dollar sign request validate the title and okay yeah validate the title and the body then create the post but not like this we're going to say because if i open the user model we have a relationship post we're going to say out user post create pass in this one and then return response status message and the 201 i think we are good here let's save this and let's open the front end. Let's work with the form now. Let's change the label to be create form kit type text for the labeled title and the name for title is going to be title. And let's copy and paste this one for the type is going to be text. Area 
for the body. Okay, and the title, the name is going to be body like this. I think we are okay now. Let's try. Let's come here. Yeah, we have something like this. Very good. This uh, form kit helped us very quickly to create such a beautiful form. Uh, I'm going to inspect the element just in case to see the console or the network. Let's try for the validation because on the backend we validate the title and body is going to be required string and the title is going to be max255. So if I hit create, we have a validation. Very good. If I fill the form and say create, why we have 500? Ah yeah, we have also the slug. I forgot to add the slug on the post controller. So let's say here dollar sign data to be with this one and then dollar sign data a slug to be not str like this but str slug passing the data title and then passing the data here uh, we have we need to import the Illuminate support str like this and save and go to post again refresh. Yeah, let me just open and see we don't have any posts. Let's go and create one. Take filler, create, and we redirected the post. We have a success here 201. Success message post created successfully. Refresh here, we have the post with this title and this is the slug and uh, the user is user id2 because we have two users here and we are logged in as uh, this user okay friends and that's it all about this video what i wanted to show you just how we can uh, create a new post with Vue.js frontend and Laravel as a backend. Now don't forget if you like such a video, so subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much.